is critical infrastructure. Human beings are interesting creatures. When our ancestors first decided to venture from the relative safety of caves and other shelters, armed only with a primitive stone spear and a portable source of fire, we embarked on a journey which can only be described as miraculous. At first, we were hunters, then gatherers, eventually came farms and clusters of people living together in mutual aid and defense. Thus, clusters became villages, villages grew to towns, and towns gave rise to cities. All along the way, as we huddled close to each other in the cold, dark night, we began to rely on the tools we invented along the journey. The way we obtained food changed. The way we kept warm changed. Even the fabric of human connection evolved. Imagine the modern world and its infinite conveniences displayed in all of its marvelous complexities to the human of the Stone Age. Yet, as we modern humans go about our daily lives, holding devices in our hands that were once several larger, clunkier things, we often don't realize the complex and delicate spiderweb that we are previously stuck to and rely upon for our very lives. That web is called critical infrastructure. Imagine having to explain to the Roman centurion, who marvels proudly at the immense and impressive achievement of Rome's paved roads and lead plumbing, that it would pale in comparison to the movement of money, energy, resources, and people across the entire world, all the time, all at once. He would surely ask, how? How is that all possible? And the answer would just as surely be critical infrastructure. Critical infrastructure can typically be broken down into the following sectors, chemical, financial, energy, communications, defense, food, government, and healthcare. Inside these sectors are the modern machines and technologies we often take for granted. The energy that flows to the home, the water that quenches our thirst, the hospital that treats our ailments, dams, power plants, farms, aircraft carriers, factories, banks, and the data centers connected to the incredibly fast high-speed internet that links between all of these things are critical. A blow to one critical infrastructure sector could cause cascading second-order effects on other sectors, leading to a large-scale catastrophe that spirals out of control, leaving us, once again, in the cold, dark cave holding a stone spear in fear. Critical infrastructure is the spider web that holds human society together, a complex interconnected group of technologies, industries, and sheer human will that keeps us alive on this spinning blue wonder called planet Earth. <laughs>